passport rules are similar to the inbox rules that are available in Outlook. The main difference is that transport rules affect messages while they're in transit, rather than after the message is delivered. I'll show you how to create a rule to block unwanted attachments from reaching your internal mail system. Sign in to the Office 365 portal. Go to Admin. Then choose either Exchange or Exchange Online Protection depending on what tenant you have. And click Mail Flow and Rules. If you are transitioned from FOPI to EOP, you may already have some migrated rule entries. These are FOPI policy rules converted to transport rules. Click the plus symbol. You can choose one of the pre-configured rules for common actions, or you can start from scratch and create a new rule. Let's do that now. Click Create a New Rule. Click the More Options link from the New Rule dialog box to reveal the options for handling attachment types and executable content. Give the rule a name if you want, or one will be automatically generated based on the options you select. Now, click the Condition drop-down to apply your new rule only to messages that are coming into your organization. Add the condition that says the sender is external slash internal and select is outside the organization. Choose the option for any attachment. Has executable content. Click the reject the message and include an explanation action. Write an explanation and click OK. Notice that you have the option to add an action. Different actions can be combined depending on what you're trying to accomplish. However, the reject the message action can only be combined with the generate incident report action. If you select the auditing property for a rule, then your message tracking log will include the severity level that you assign here. Save the rule, which will take effect in minutes. You can also use transport rules for criteria based routing. To do so, You'll need to set up an outbound connector and enable the Use for Criteria-Based Routing, or CBR, scope. Read the article at aka.ms slash CBR for more info about criteria-based routing. If you'd like to learn how to create a connector, watch the setup mail flow from your on-premises servers through EOP video. On the rules page, click the plus symbol to create a new rule. Click the More Options link from the New Rule dialog box. Give the rule a name. Select the criteria to trigger the rule. In this example, I'll select the sender is from a specific domain. Now select redirect the message to the following outbound connector. From the pull down menu, select the appropriate connector to route the messages. Click OK and save. In a few minutes, EOP will begin using the new transport rules. Thanks for watching.